Many scientists and philosophers think that life is just a series of random events. They claim you're not in control of yourself, even though you believe you are. In reality, you're traveling through a random world on the random energy exchanges of the molecules in your body. I'll explain why they have this opinion. Atoms, which are composed of fundamental particles like quarks and electrons, are the building blocks of molecules. And fundamental particles are composed of pure energy bundled around a point in space. These energy bundles are made up of the capacity to cause change. It's an invisible, ghostly essence akin to what flows through a line of dominoes as they fall. You can't see energy, only the change it causes as it moves. Not only are molecules composed of energy, but they can also absorb excess energy. When the quantity of the energy exactly matches the molecule's requirements, it can be absorbed. The term quantum physics is derived from quantity of energy. Therefore, molecules can be thought of as energy stores. They are composed of energy and take on excess energy. The fact that molecules have the ability to move makes them even more interesting. They are storehouses cruising through three dimensions of space. They can exchange energy with other molecules in two different ways. First, they can run into another molecule and transfer some of their 3D motion to it. The other molecule receives this translational energy or motion as the result of the collision. Newtonian physics describes the collision dynamics, so it essentially appears like two pool balls colliding. Electromagnetic pulses are the other way that molecules exchange energy. They don't need to be close to one another or come into contact. A molecule has the ability to transfer energy to others located one nanometer away or on the opposite side of the universe. Say that molecule A is vibrating due to an excess of energy. A pulse is emitted when it stops vibrating and moves in the direction of molecule B. If B is one light year away, it will take one year for the pulse to reach it. When it does, B will absorb that energy packet and begin to vibrate in the same manner as A did earlier. According to scientists, when a molecule exports an energy packet in which molecule absorbs it are random events. The molecules are merely adhering to quantum physical laws. However, this raises an interesting question. How do you move your arm where you want it to go if the molecules of your arm are moving it randomly? Does your mind think it's in control while it's just riding along with the molecules in your body? If a shooter's actions were caused by their molecules, should they still go to jail? I'll share the answer to these questions soon. In the meantime, keep thinking about it. Please click the thumbs up again if you like this video. Also leave your comments and questions below. Until next time, remember humility, thanks, and joy. Hey Samuel, how you doing?